And she's very proud of her Filipino roots as she brought the flag into the Haula and she is repping with it here this evening. Two years older than Selimen. One inch shorter and the reach is all even. We are in the women's fly weight division. This is really important for these two ladies to este get things going. Es Lupe Contreras. El duelo co-estelar de esta noche. Tres vueltas, división peso mosca. This is our co-featured bout of the evening. Three rounds in the fly weight division. Los jueces, the judges, Ricardo Celis, Vicente Rodriguez y Héctor Gómez. Y ahora, damas y caballeros, Llegó el momento de un combate global. Presentando en la esquina azul, vestida de azul, introducing the blue corner, wearing blue, su peso oficial, 124 libras y tres cuartos, or official weight, 124 and three quarter pounds. Entra por tercera ocasión a la jaula, con una victoria y una derrota. She enters La Jaula for the third time as a professional with one victory against one defeat. Representando a Maracaibo, Venezuela, Mariel Laraña Selime. Su contrario en la esquina roja. Vestida de negro con amarillo, her opponent in the red corner, wearing black with gold. Her official weight, 125 and one quarter pounds. Su peso oficial, 125 libras y un cuarto. En dos combates profesionales, mantiene un record de una victoria y una derrota. In two bouts as a pro, she has a record of one victory against one defeat. De San Diego, California, Tyler Southside Schaefer. El referee, Marcos Perez. Marcos Perez, the third inside the jaula. South side Schaefer. Okay, so he went through the rules. What I can fight. Don't shoot gloves at you. What are doing now? Co main event. Fantastic opportunity, but only one will be able to. Ready. Grab the ring. Ready. Fight. It is Selimen in blue. Talk to Selimen. She's now studying nursing. She has her. Ooh. Tyler reaching out with that right, right from the start. And Tyler looks completely different than the, the interview she did. She's got the braids up, locked in look on her face. No more. <laughs> Mr. Nice Girl. Trying to get that underhook, although Selimen's got a good hold here, looking for the dump and the takedown. Tyler, good positioning there, their hip forbidding. Selimen taking her to the ground. She's looking for a trip, but great defense from Tyler. Uh, a different fight compared to that first time that we saw her here inside La Jaula back in December. That fight was, for the most part, stand up. Selimen, though. Already testing the waters in an attempt at taking down Tyler to the ground. Schaefer, who lost to Rosalind Shavira, split decision in December as part of the Copa Combate. Uh, one of the preliminary fights there. And she has dealt with a lot of tragedy. She's mentioned the loss of her grandfather, but early on in her life, the passing of her baby sister, Erin, who lost a battle with cancer at the age of seven years old. It's not fair what some people have to deal with, but some are burdened with that. And Tyler is that. It's made her stronger, and she said she's fueled the fire for this fight on her most recent loss. Salomon searching for that rear naked choke. And the triangle locked in. Good grip there for both her legs. Making it, she's really wrapped around like a spider on the webs. Making it difficult from Tyler here. Shane for staying active. Referee advising to have some action or if not, they're gonna have to break this apart. It's really tough for Sally Man. She should be 2-0 in her professional career. But the DQ, one and one, and it's a, it's a, it's a big step back. You have to wait for that next fight. And she wants that rematch. She wants that victory back. Well, we encourage our fighters to call out opponents, and Schaefer sees that opportunity as well. She says she wants a shot at Maritza Sanchez. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop been stop very stop. successful. And there will be a separation right. here to the benefit of Schaefer, who dealt with some, <laughs> some problems there. She's gotten out of it. Back to stand up. She has that strong background in Muay Thai. Cracking right game. hand. 
But we saw with Blanca Marquez when Selimen made the debut here in San Jaula, great combinations and kicks. There'll be a time here where she should really bring up the pace. You'll see a flurry of punches. And she has great cardio, Max. So once she gets that groove, Selimen will find that that vibe and just push the pace. Schaefer said she watched both Selimen fights under the Combate banner. An idea for her opponent, and she knows she's putting it to work, trying to move into that blind spot with her lateral movement. Good lead leg kick by Schaefer. If you notice here, Tyler really doesn't like to close that distance between the fighters. Selimen who's coming in. Schaefer closed the distance that time, got yeah. a kick into the midsection. The uh, corner certainly liked it. Salomon now training with the camp of Gold Shed Academy and Bushido Muay Thai. Both these, both these fighters have pop in those fists. They definitely got hands. Sally Mann from the headbutt incident said she learned she needs to be in control. Don't let things get in her mind. Try to be a better person. Yeah, that changed her uh, as a person and as a fighter. And, and, and it goes back to the second round. Her opponent threw in a, a shot right after the bell. They really upset Sally Mann. And at that point, you, you don't you don't want to get any points deducted or anything like that right after that bell. So you kind of have to take a deep breath, relax, and wait for the start of the next round. But you, you got to control the emotions. This, yeah. this this is a competitive sport. This is not a brawl. There, there's there's levels to this game. Yeah, that is a that's a, a long talk you have with your fight team and say, look. This is a, a learning lesson, but it cannot happen again. Anything like that, because one rush of blood can pay a heavy, heavy price for. Yes. And not only for her opponent, for herself too. She could have got hurt with that headbutt. Sally Men checking those kicks. It's been a busy first round, which is about to end here in our co-main event. Feeling out process, I am sure. But a good amount of activity there. Good stuff from Tyler compared for that first time that we saw her here inside Mahaula. She's been connecting with a lot of straight over right or straight crosses. Seliman. It's more like the uh, testing of the waters. Sure she'll pick up the pace in the second round as you see she checked that kick. Tyler over right hand across, connecting to the chin of Seliman. That was that, that kicker there when that coffee kicks in. They woke her up. <laughs> Sally Men then now taking her, perhaps searching for some submission work. Tyler, though, good positioning of the hips, breaking in that grip. Let's see what the stake in the second round. Ready? We are back here for round two, so an improved effort certainly from Schaefer. Selimen now knows she's in a fight, but still taking the center of the howl out with some frequency as she does again here to open up round two. Tyler looks more of the stronger of the two, I would say, physically. Yeah, if the, you were to the pair leg up. kicks have been, yeah. the leg kicks, period, have been very impactful. And there's much more. Just an active set of feet, moving, kicking. But she said she was working at the feint. She's been using it all this time around. And it's working for her as we look at those open scoring of that first round. Max. This is the official scoring. Sally Men with the takedown. She gets the, Schaefer gets the edge, pardon me. Yeah. Well, a split call from the referees. It felt like a close round. It certainly is reinforced by the scores. Schaefer, though, they're doing most of the damage with those shots. Right into the corner for Schaefer. Maria Silimen, living in Venezuela. Her mother, when uh, President Maduro took over, mom told her to go to America. She did. Her husband wanted to get into MMA. She trained with him and fell in love with the sport. And a new beginning here. Her husband, who, comp who competed here in mixed martial arts, 
Pit of a, another separation here, just not enough activity. And this will probably benefit Schaefer. She's been so good with the kicks. See if she can unfurl a few now. Yeah, Schaefer needs to keep this fight in the center of La Hala, where she's been having much success. That's for Seligman. I think she's going to go to that strategy of taking this fight to the ground. Also, if Seligman needs to push, put, put the, the foot on the accelerator here. In her previous fights, you would see that her combination speed was, was just ridiculous. It was just fast pace. We haven't seen much of that in this fight. Well, Schaefer's getting into a groove, and she's feinting these left hands yeah. and then connecting with the lead leg of Seligman. There it is again, but this time with the overhand looping right. Well, she was stating facts in an interview which she says, I was working on the feints, I've been working on new tricks. We're seeing it here tonight. She's staying out of target. Great head movement. Great. Uppercut. Ooh, the game plan for Schaefer is working. Schaefer has just been hating that cross. Oh, that another stop. feint and a hit into the ribs. That hurts Silly Man. Silly Man has stopped, and now she can't find her range. Jab. Tyler just improved so much. It's really an overnight improvement from the first time that we saw her in the Aula. All sorts of striking. Power punch, strong kicks. And the head movement, shoulder movement, when she throws in those hands. The defensive fighting has been as impressive as the offense. Again, the lead leg. So Sally Man's lead leg has got to be getting uncomfortable. And the corner of Schaefer wants them to wants her to double, triple up on that. At, at this point, Sally should test those waters on that ground again. Sally is all out of sorts now. This these kicks are taking a toll. She's puzzled. She's just getting clocked. Look at the eyes. Yeah. She 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 looks puzzled. She keeps walking into those punches and she can't defend the leg kicks. But she she attempted that leg. She tried to grab that lead leg kick, but. Taylor, just a stronger of the two. Beautiful jabs. Connect. There it is. The jabs have been the difference because they've set up everything. Great defense from Tyler. Good defense. Let's go. Play. Oh, he read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> we, we beat him to the punch a couple times. Another short jab. Selly Man has to go for a plan B. What? She's walking into this. She's going into the game plan of Schaefer. This is not going to succeed for her. It's not going to end well. Sell, look, that lead kick, that lead leg is there, but she keeps switching the stance. She needs to capitalize on this. She has 54 seconds, not enough time here. Sally Ben is a big fan of submissions, says she uh, likes the rear naked. Also, arm bar are her favorites. Right here, she needs to level up, change gears, go for the leg, the trip. You're good, you're good. Let's go, wide base, wide base, wide base, wide base. But great defense on Tyler Hart. She uses a howla to position herself, prohibiting Seliman to go to the ground. So it's not a good matchup for Seliman. At least she's trying something different. Not much time to make a change of direction here in round two as those ear slaps don't feel good either. No, they don't. Sally Man has got to get a new game plan as we are heading to the third round. See Sally Man's there. Sally Man is, is limping. It seemed like he was limping there a bit. I wouldn't be the surprised the way she has absorbed kicks to that lead leg. And for Schaefer, she's done all the work. But five more minutes to complete the job. Corner of Seligman just telling her, throw. Throw that overhand right. Connect it. Can't, can't come straight up. Got to change some yeah, angles, change some levels. You, ha you have to work the angles, because every time she goes forward, she gets clocked with that every jab, time. with that cross. Corner man there. Adrian, who's also competed here in Combate Global. Well, they are uh, enthusiastic. Ready? Ready? Getting ready for round three. Max Pretos, Rodolfo Roman here on uh, Paramount Plus. We are live. Combate Global and the corner of Maria Selimen. Very encouraging that there is a way to 
rescue this fight. And throw. <laughs> throw and get out of the way and find those counter punches. They said it's there. Look at that. She, the, the, the corner is saying use the jab, and as you throw that jab, you got to use that right foot to go to the side and throw in that over right hand. The problem is Schaefer's jab is just that much better. It's strong. It's heavy. And it's connecting every single time. She said she's worked harder than she ever has, and it shows right now. As you look at the open yes. scoring, Max Tyler ahead of the game so far. Seliman connecting with the elbow, though. Schaefer may be out of view for Seliman, who's going to need a massive round three. The jab every time finds its target for every Schaefer time, in yellow. Every time she comes in, Seliman gets met with that jab. It's a battle of jabs right now. They both know it. One is just better than the other in that category, but the lead leg targeted again. South side Schaefer. It's almost like the Austin Powers movie when they get in the little golf cart and they just keep hitting the wall back and forth. <laughs> I wonder if he ever got out of there. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Look at the leg there. Uh, already the blood rushing to the surface of Selly Men on the thigh, the quad, the shin. Better from Selly Men. Now she's closed the gap. The fights keep getting harder here in Combate Global as you keep climbing the ladder. And it's evident we're seeing it here tonight, Max. I mean, if you had a report card for Schaefer, I mean, she gets an A in everything, even defense, although finally taken down. The improvement is there. She, from the feint, from the takedown defense, from the way she used that jab, that strategy, that playbook, she stuck to it. And it worked just fine. But she's giving her now back. She has to be careful here. She has to be cautious to see what she's done in the groundwork. Let's see if she's... We didn't see much of it in that previous fight because for the most part it was a stand-up, but let's see that defense. But Selly Man has found something that works and now that arm got under the chin for a moment. This is where she needs to be careful. She needs to quickly try to get to that feet, use those hips. Some wrist control, that's what the corner said, but that arm gets under the chin. So much time left in this fight. And now a good squeeze for Selly Man. It's not under the chin yet, but it's getting closer every moment. The chin is still intact for Schaefer. Late in a fight, it's very hard to complete I mean, this. Right, right now you have, yeah. But this is this is the only shot that Seliman has. She has two minutes. This is the only opportunity because this has been working for her. It hasn't been the stand-up game. And that triangle's locked in, so she could keep her here for the remainder of this fight. This is what she's been looking for. Finally found some daylight and snuck in. And Schaefer's body language isn't great right now. The only thing that Schaefer has to depend on is if... That one's another attempt. Uh, if if Seliman uses that grip, but right now it looks very tight. Positioning those legs. Minute 30, Tyler, minute 30. Your torso area. Very honest from... The corner of Schaefer to let her know how much time is left. Seliman is just waiting for that opportunity where Schaefer leaves herself open and she can sneak in that arm and well, call it a night. It's like a jigsaw piece. Uh, yeah. She is locked in for the remainder. And it can't really be picked up by the referee because Seliman is staying very active. Another attempt, another crank. Now she has she has that chin down. It's like a Rubik's cube. We're figuring out Rubik's cube. Oh, Marielle Seliman would not be denied. Oh, she was losing this fight. She got the back. She tried in every direction and finally sunk it in. A come from behind. What a comeback from Seliman. The blue corner sinks in a rear naked choke, forcing her opponent to tap with an official time of four minutes, nine seconds of the third and final round. La ganadora por sumisión, your winner by way of submission. La Araña, Mariel Selimé. La Araña, they say she always fights like a spider and always finds a way to sneak in there.